oh is cassava. God. Okay. Yeah, and this is the leaf, cassava leaf. leaf. Yeah. And cassava then when, when you uproot this, yes. the cassava it's itself will come. And that's what we use in Ghana to prepare fufu. fufu. Mm -hmm. And we do it here. Too. You do it here too? Yeah, we'll, we'll do it here. And use the same for gari. Yeah. Yes. Use the same for in, in Ghana. We have something called Kokonte, the dried cassava. I am my. Anyway, you so, guys, come. I already know what it was. I just wanted to put him on the test so he oh, could. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> come here, right. come here. Okay. The part of Ghana that I am from, yeah. we don't eat this. Yeah. You give it to our goats. Our sheep. <laughs> so when you go, we go to farm. You harvest your cassava. Yeah. You intentionally cut wow. this part yeah. just to give it to your goats. But some yeah. part of Ghana, they eat the cassava leaves. Oh my god. Some so if you guys don't eat this, what no, do you, no, no. We what do you eat? okay. This is what we eat. Come closer. Come with me. No. This is cocoyam leaves, eh? Mm -hmm. But the one that we even eat, we eat the fresh one. Okay. Okay. See this one. You see? Yeah. The, this one okay it's typically fresh for us okay oh okay when it grows like this you guys don't eat it yeah. no oh. no like this one okay okay you see this one looks more fresh okay so that's what we eat in ghana so we replace this one with this really we call it quantum ray quantum ray yeah so the cassava leaves that you guys have yeah. exactly the same way that we cook it tastes in Ghana, like that right exactly the same thing same procedure but you but guys grind instead of, it or you cut it we cut we can cut this one we grind it same thing we have the grinding one if you want to eat the um cassava or cocoa yam together with this cocoa yam leaves that one yeah. that's why we grind it this is the first time I so uh let's see how the um, cassava leaves looks like. I want right. really to try it for the first time since everyone is saying. I know you're I gonna, gonna love scared, it. Truly, gonna love it. Too. I'm just gonna give it a try. Okay, good. All right. So, finally, this is what I showed you. Exactly. You're from this country, you don't even know that this is. I know. Leaves. I was just testing you. You're testing you know, me. I wanted to. Are we in school for you to test me? No, it means that you did your research very. Right? Oh, okay. It's not like I did my research. I'm a village boy, so this things is what I eat every yes. day. Yeah. Okay. So, um. You know, I've been here for past seven days. I've not tasted this, and everyone is telling me that you cannot come to Sierra Leone without eating our cassava leaves. Exactly. We have the best cassava leaves so far, as you can see. This is it. But this is the cassava leaf and oil. The oil. Oil, oil. yes. Which oil? The. By the way, people were saying that we need to try the one with um, the palm oil. Exactly, the one with palm oil is there. But then la the other video we used palm oil. Oh, okay. So in yeah. this video, I want us to use oil. It really tastes good, and it basically keeps the whole ingredients together. You know, sometimes when you use the palm oil, it kind of like overtakes the whole ingredient smell and everything. But when you use the oil, it maintains the because it has a lot of ingredients, something like pepper. We have granite in it. We have uh, granite. Yes, we put granite in it. Wow. That gives you that taste and flavor. You guys are really going to enjoy it. But they are mixed with some beef and chicken. So let's get right into it. So uh, are you, uh, is it your first time of eating this? Yeah, so it's, it's my first time. You don't it's eat my in first Kenya? Time. No, 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 no. So you have nothing, you never heard of cassava leaf? Like I heard about cassava leaf when I came to Sierra Leone. Okay. Wow. And you? I heard of cassava leaves because of my goats. <laughs> you know? But um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, no, 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 I'm, I'm not insulting that. anyone. Or, I'm not insulting anyone, but uh, where I'm from, if you hear cassava leaves, Hey, bring that goat. Let's give it to the goat. But anyway, I it's think... It's real. You didn't hear you say that. I'm I'm like, don't... <laughs> I beg you. Oh. Even the president I recommended beg, oh. cassava leaves. Everyone is recommending. Really? I was so scared. Yes. In Kenya, I don't, we don't... I was so oh scared. Oh my God. I remember I, uh, one, one time my sister went to the... With the first lady. And then they went to Uganda. And the, the first lady literally said, When I get cassava leaves? Like, you guys have cassava leaf. Like, it's a food they cannot live without it. But in some part of Ghana, they eat this, but where I'm from, it's new to me. Yeah. So literally, I'm going to dish it out for you guys. Thank let you. Me take, let me do the pleasure. So this is jasmine. This is the most famous rice we eat here. Why do you guys eat rice all the time? Because it literally... It's very good. It's healthy. It, you said it keeps the you rice, strong. You say it's called jasmine. Jasmine. Jasmine is a female's name. Exactly, but because of the smell of the rice and the sweetness, that's why they call it jasmine. Oh, is it okay. Made in made in Sierra Leone no, rice. No, China. Oh, China. China. We, we are in Sierra Leone. We still eating food from China. Exactly. They're they're coming. We also have our own native uh, rice. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Next time, give me the. Uh, 
made in Sierra Leone no rice. No problem. Thank no you. Problem. You will definitely love it. It's very nice. It's most a lot of diabetes eat it because it's less starch. But you know what I, I found out like almost every meal in goes Sierra Leone with. goes with rice. It's like if you don't eat rice, you've not eaten. Exactly. Man, I me, mean, I can't eat this and sleep. Oh, where I'm from, <laughs> we eat fufu banku. Ah, yeah, rice is like. What do you call it? Snacks. Can I add? You guys, <laughs> so literally the cassava leaf, it's this few cassava leaf and more of the creatures. We call it creatures. The fish, the the, the chicken. So you've that. mixed like all types of meat inside. Exactly. It gives all the combination of the flavor. That okay. Have. Are you okay with the rice? The aroma. Add? Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. So we Jesus. have beef here, wow. we have chicken. It's going to taste good. <laughs> so let me ask you, inside here there's all types of meat. How yeah. do they do it? They fry the beef and the you chicken aside and the, the fish beef, and then they put exactly, them together? Exactly, put it together. They, those are the last things you put in the yes. sauce. Oh. When it's about to get dry, you put it inside. So the moment it dries, all the sauce, the flavor of the, 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 um, the sauce, go inside the mm. beef and the chicken and it just gives the whole finishing. Mm, okay. Yeah. I love it. I can even cook it with my eyes closed. Really? Oh, wow. I love it. So I'm waiting for the first impression. First impression? I'm so excited. So, you know, this is actually ponded. In East Africa, we don't, we hardly pond our vegetables. We just cut them. How is it? It's so good. So good. So different. So different. Not right? something I'm used to, but I love it. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, can so I get something to wash my hands? Let me get I don't, the bowl. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't. Let me get the bowl. Thank you. We go the African way. Mm -hmm. Make sure you wash your hand. You know, we go the African school. <laughs> Enough of this one. Enough of that one, right? Exactly. exactly. So, like, they said um, you could never feel full if you don't eat it with your hand. I love meat, you know. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, Take your time. Get, get closer, get closer, get closer. Get closer. Let me show them how we use our hands to eat, man. Take your time. Grab this. Mm -hmm. So this is rice. So take your time, man. Then one. <laughs> Salona heaven no. <laughs> they my food oh, all day heaven. You got your food from heaven, eh? Mm -hmm. You know heaven is a garden. So we plant a good day. We just went and have this. It doesn't taste different for me. Okay. It has the it has the same taste just like the the one that I showed you, mm -hmm. because I feel like there's pepper in it. Yes. There is um. Everything is is good. There's, but we, we normally don't use this chicken and most of the time we use fish. Yes, fish, fish could fish. be nice, yeah. sure, but like we sometimes people are afraid of the bone. Oh yeah. Mm. That because cassava is a food when you eat it, you just and then they don't want you to be attacked by the bone or anything like that. So that's why they give you chicken or beef. Those are the two things they give. You. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But it, but it's, it's, I think the food is really healthy. Mhm. Mm it's really healthy and. Um, I mean, the plant is a vegetable. The plants is yeah everything is vegetable mm -hmm. and um, together with the, the oil but mm -hmm. I would prefer the red oil than the the white oil the, this one yeah, no. why would you prefer the red oil what's the difference you know the red oil it has some kind of smell the aroma of the red yes. oil it makes the food the stew alone smell so good you mm -hmm. know what I mean and um it's I think the red oil is also healthy. Cause this one is from the coconut, eh? Yeah, this one is like coconut. a process. Yeah, and then the palm oil, oh it's my god. Natural. Yeah, but I love this. I love this, man. I don't like chocolate when I, I eat food that I like so much. But all I can tell you that whenever you find yourself in Sierra Leone, in, in Crow, they call it Salon. Tell them that you need cassava leaves with rice. Make sure it goes with rice, so... And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's 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 really good. Like it's really good, and I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna recommend to each and everyone who enter this country. Have anything to say? 
you got to try this it's so good it's so different and um i love it east africans i'm gonna come and show you how to cook this food because you're missing out it's really good amina is also a youtuber she's the one who is doing all the food videos with me so make sure you go to her youtube channel subscribe and um give it a thumbs up i don't know what to say but i feel like let me do the talking for you guys you guys give this guy a thumbs up one thing for sure is he's doing an amazing job oh. when it comes to youtubers traveling in order for you to be successful and to put Sierra Leone out there, you have to be uncomfortable. Incomfortable. It's not I'm telling you that he's not, he's not he's uncomfortable, but he is going out of his comfort zone just to get the best out of what people are not seeing. You know, there's a lot of people that do not know the insights of Sierra Leone, and through him, he has shown us. And like Trudy here, she saw some of the cultural stuff she saw some of the historical places and she was amazed and she was happy about it that kind of like thought how very important it is for people to know africa culture and uh, places in africa okay you know as an, if i eat or finish everything and your cameraman right now they're looking at me hey <laughs> oh, okay, come closer. Let me give you. Let me give you. Hey, let me give you. Let me give you. Give them okay. a taste. Now nah, I want to give it to my camera. Oh, somebody has opened up. Hey, bring your hand. Hey. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boy Mr. Ghana, baby. And I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode. Stay tuned. More coming till I see you in Morovia. I am Maya. Peace out. <laughs>